Uchiner, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of discussion is going to be about the healing crisis and what one should expect when going through a healing crisis in order to reestablish balance and good health within the body. Okay? Now, I'm going to start by saying, um, as a practicing herbalist, one of the things I see day in and day out, and I've seen for the last 16 years, is 95% of the people that I speak to have extremely unrealistic expectations for time frame and for what to expect when going through the actual healing crisis in order to obtain better health and balance within their systems, okay? And I believe that there are multiple reasons for this. First and foremost, I think that when you live in a society like ours where everything is so fast paced, one thing that you tend to lose is you tend to lose the understanding of being patient with a process. If you recall, I did a video about um, what are you supposed to feel, and it was, in it was to describe what you should feel and what a healthy response to herbs, specifically adaptogens, are. And one of the things I mentioned in that video was the idea of how we are so over-caffeinated and over-stimulated in our society that we've lost the understanding of what a healthy response to herbs and food is actually supposed to be because what we're so used to is this stimulate feeling from caffeine and stimulants, okay? Well, this is on the same exact page. We live in a fast-paced society that what we often feel and what we want to see is fast results. Let me promise each and every one of you this, and you can quote me on this every single day. You can make this as my quote, and you can tell your friends this as well. If your expectation is, I want to take something today and get well yesterday, you are going to fail every single time, 100%. I guarantee it, okay? What we need to do is we need to learn to be patient with the process itself, okay? I think the other thing is, is that in, in line with this discussion is that we don't respect the process. Part of being patient is being able to understand the process and being able to respect the process, okay? And one of the biggest issues is going back to understanding the effects of what's going to happen versus this illusion of side effects. And I think it also has a lot to do with understanding what happens during a healing crisis is in fact what is supposed to happen. And if you allow it to happen and you allow your body to go through the process during its healing phases, then what you will see is miraculous results, number one. Number two, you'll also have a better understanding of what the process is, you'll have a better understanding of being patient with the process, and you'll also understand the greatest concept here is, is that you can't rush the process. The minute you begin to rush the process, you're setting yourself up for failure, okay? Now, with that said, it's important to understand that we're all in different phases of this healing crisis, okay? So when we heal, if you think to yourself, well, my cousin, my grandmother, my brother, he dealt with the same problem and he got better in half the time. They're them, they are, the, they are who they are, and you're who you are. And you're both in different areas in this healing crisis, so don't feel this need to pressure yourself into believing that you'll get better in a certain t amount of time. What they did was because that was what their body went through, and what you're going through is what you're going through. Don't compare an apple to an orange. It's not right, it's unfair to do that to yourself, okay? And it's very unrealistic, and again, you're setting yourself up for failure, okay? Now, what I am gonna tell you is that there are certain things you can, in fact, do during this process to help to stimulate a healing response and make the healing process a little bit easier on yourself, okay? There are three specific things that you can do, 
okay? First and foremost is to keep your detoxification pathways as clean and clear as possible. The one thing, excuse me, the two things that people have in common when they're not well is congested bowels and a toxic liver. There is no way a person can ever be healthy if their liver is congested and their bowels are congested, okay? Because those are two major pathways. This doesn't take away from any, any other organ system or its importance. The kidney, the gallbladder, they're all important and they all have a specific function that need to be kept clean and clear. If you want optimal healing, you need to keep those areas as clean and clear as possible. Okay, the next thing is understanding the concept of fasting. Now, when you eat food, digestion is the one process that takes up the most energy in the body. And the reason it takes up so much energy is because it's a very extensive process. Okay, when you digest, break down, and absorb nutrients into the, uh, into, through the bowels, into the intestines, into the bloodstream, okay? And fasting is actually eliminating that process completely. So now the energy that was used in order to digest food is now gonna be used in the recovery. And I've seen with my own two eyes how people stimulate this healing process tenfold okay simply by just doing a 24-hour fast now there are many different types of fast 24-hour liquid fasts uh, up to a week juice fasts things like that they're all wonderful my suggestion to you is that if you don't have experience with fasting don't do it for more than 24 hours at a time okay if you have some experience up to a week with juices and water is perfectly okay to do. But you need to understand anything longer than a seven day period, you should do it under supervision of someone who is trained and understands fasting as a whole, okay? Now, the next thing you can do, or I should say the final thing that you can do to help to stimulate a healing response is giving the body as much nourishment as possible where a good percentage of what you put in your body is in liquid forms, juices, smoothies, and herbal teas, okay? Again, what this is going to do is it's going to, it's going to not take up a large amount of your digestive process, but it's still going to get the nutrients and vital, vital phytochemicals that your body needs in this healing process into your system as fast as possible. Okay, guys, so I hope that the information that you've received today has helped you trim the fat and clear things up in terms of what your expectations should be during a healing process. And I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.